AI is doing all the colliding amongst each other. Welcome back everyone to some more F124 driver career mode. We are heading to Monza in this video. We've had some brilliant races with the Haas team. The Haas car really developing nicely now, possibly challenging for the some of some of the front runners. And we are we were able to secure some big points since Austria. I mean to be fair, we were able to score points since Emola, P9 and P7 in Monaco, and then Canada, Austria, Great Britain. We were able to score some points but then we had some engine issues spain has some track issues glitches mostly and then we started to really compete for the win and some high points positions around belgium and the dutch grand prix so this is some good progress from the haas team our rating has also improved significantly over the course of the season and therefore we are here with mercedes amg patronus who have approached us previously so now we're into the second meeting so let's see what they say and let's head into the episode today Today. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe using the red button down below. Really do appreciate your support. So here we go then. Secret meeting with Mercedes. So here's my like quick feedback on... Um, uh, on this process so first off we know their performance it's no big surprise because we know the constructors we know their uh, drivers standings and all that um, the development success rate upgrades applied it also doesn't really matter much because we already know where they sit in the performance chart so I'm not too surprised here uh, with the upgrades that they have low on aerodynamics low on powertrain but high on durability with some in chassis like to be frank I just don't care so I don't know what this info is useful to us for like if their overall performance is third and their car is that fast then there's no real reason to know all this data but um, we, without further ado we're just gonna continue talks because Mercedes we never turned down a Mercedes approach man all right so no one has sniffed out our approach by Mercedes and again I'm telling you it's not much help um, that we get out of those discussions mainly because we can see everything on the right hand side here vehicle performance comparison if they are just ahead of us we would assume that most of the upgrades are similar to what we have and if anything like it's either better or it's going to be worse and we can work on it but I, I just don't see any value in the in showing us their R&D uh, conditions so I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. I just feel like the whole discussion thing could be made a lot better. I mean, it's great that they added it, but I feel like it's still still just really poorly done. Anyway, P10 with 87 points in the drivers. P6 in the constructors with 87 points. Speaking of R&D, let's jump into it for the Haskar. 434 points for myself. Can we invest in anything? I don't think so. uh, we can get some durability done which is good so let me get these two done then the electrical systems durability which will come before Baku which to be fair we don't have to rush it because either or it'll come in time we're insufficient points for the energy store hmm that's a shame 266 points to my name right now so we'll have to wait let's sit down with our specialists um let's see 337 kph achieve four purple sectors during a I'd assume that means have four purple sectors throughout the whole race weekend. How can you have four purple sectors when there are only three sectors in a race racing circuit? I don't know. I really don't know. We're going to go for the high speed just in case that's a glitch number. Complete 12 rounds during a race weekend. Yeah, that I can do. Um, what about this? Complete a lap using at least two sets of tires and incur no more than two penalties. Yeah, that I can do strategist two practice programs during the race weekend that's possible yeah that'll be fine so just a quick look at the performance of the Haas car we made significant gains heading into the Dutch Grand Prix right in the middle of this McLaren to Mercedes group and then the Visa Cash App RB to Kick Sauber group so we're dead middle and uh, Rotors just came through this weekend so I think we've climbed ever so slightly closer to Mercedes performance meaning that we should be competitive against them hopefully 
So let's head into Monza, see how well we perform here at the Temple of Speed. They call it the Temple of Speed and the Pilgrims have come to worship. It's all about the speed today. Qualifying awaits us. Welcome to Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. Welcome to Monza qualifying session. Time to put this car in a decent position for the start of the race. Yeah, okay, so dry conditions, no rain expected. We should be able to put a decent and competitive okay, guys, lap on. Well, let's see if the that's the case. All right, crossing the line here, let's see. What is the lap time, P11? Okay. The other cars are also starting to get competitive. Just ahead of Bottas and Zhou, but behind Gasly and Sargent. I think I can find a couple tents somewhere. Mainly because Tsunoda got in the way in turn one. All right, trying to push as best I can here. Full second gain. And we're up into P5. There we go. That is the pace I can find. Ooh. That was scary for a moment, but I think P5 should be enough for Q2 here. And indeed it was by the end of the session. P5 for us, just behind Carlos Sainz, which is great. Nico Hülkenberg also making it through. Sonoda, Ricardo, Ocon, Sargent, and Gasly knocked out. First lap, let's go! Ah, dead last. That's a shame. Okay, we gotta go out on fresh softs and this was a used tire run. Ugh. Ah, I left it until too late. It's too wet out here. I'll be P15, but it's an opportunity to get a new engine in the back of the car. I think I might take grid penalties to get a fresh new engine. My teammate. Nico Hülkenberg up in P2. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So yeah, I'm going in. I'm going back into pits. Yeah, look at that. My teammate P3. Wow, that is incredible from Nico Hülkenberg. Myself, Joe Stroll, Albon, and Hamilton knocked out. Yeah, unfortunate for us. We left too late. It was raining. I didn't know. It didn't even show it was raining, so I missed it somehow. I thought it was going to rain in Q3, but it came in Q2. It is what it is. New engine in the back of the car, though. So let's see if we can cook from P20. Welcome to the home of the Parabolica, now known as the Curva Alboreto in tribute to the Italian motorsport legend Michele Alboreto. It's a long, long right-hander. It dares you to keep your foot as far down on the throttle as you possibly can. It's one of the great corners on the calendar, and we're here at Monza ahead of the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest track in Formula One. Heartbreaking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some close action. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Perez, Russell, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Hamilton, Albon, Stroll, Joe, the Rookie, Verstappen, Gasly, Sargent, Ocon, Ricardo, and Yuki Tsunoda. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Okay, so I put a fresh engine in the back of the car and no grid penalty. Okay, I'll take that. I mean, <laughs> it seems like Codemasters have forgotten to code in that I you need grid penalties for new engine components. But I will take that. I will definitely 
take that all right so let's jump into this race medium to hard strategy is uh, the plan and yeah without further ado let's jump into it here we go 22 position grip penalty it says at the top but here i am at p14 lights out and away we go thank you very much to be honest look at my engine zero percent i have cheesed my way It's risky going on the inside, but we've done it. We're up into P12, P11. Just going to try to stay on the coattails of Albon and Bottas. Oh my gosh. Massive lockup. Vehicle condition. Tire condition still looking good. How did I not take damage? I do not know, but we'll take it again. Cheesing our way through this. Alright, let's try and catch up to the guys ahead. They're gonna fight into Ascari. My teammate lost the battle to Hamilton and Ascari. But that does bring us closer to them. All right, let's fall into a rhythm. Let's get into this DRS train. Okay, let's go. They're not deploying, okay. Traffic jam into first corner. Yo, three wide at the front, man. Three wide. Okay, P8, P9 right now. This is good. Just want to maintain pace. Okay, you're in the top ten. All right, who can back? Ah, I missed the apex. All right, I got to push, push, push. All right, lost DRS here. But I think I can get it for the start finish straight. They slow through us, Scotty, because they're forming a train. All right, I got to push. Russell slowly recharging, so I... So... I don't know what I'm saying, but we're back in DRS. Let's go. Fastest lap? Yes, baby. Oh no, is it three wide up front? It's three wide, and Hukenberg's trying it. Giving him the place back. That was a little brute force. How am I not taking damage? I have simulation damage on. You know that because I completely destroyed my wing in China. Let's just trail. Alright, we're going for clean moves now. Clean moves as people try to shuffle three wide into turn one. Alright, we made a pass Russell. Clean moves now, only clean moves. And that was clean as you get. This is getting interesting. I think these guys are struggling. I have some momentum here. I think it might be the new engine in the back of my car. And also the fact that the front runners, top top two are fighting, slowing down traffic essentially. So yeah, we can get another move done into turn one. I mean, it's just one long line of cars right now. All right, here we go. Charged up the battery sufficiently for a push here. 
Okay, in the slipstream of Alonzo, we can make the move here. I say that around the inside. Whoa. I think I shaved a bit of my front wing off. Vehicle condition. No news. I have so many close shaves, man. It's getting ridiculous. What is... The Ferrari nearly tried it. Avoid more than two notable collisions. What the hell does that mean? Avoid more than two notable collisions for five laps? Alright, I'm gonna lose out to signs here. I'm gonna charge up my battery. No biggie. Gonna let him through, we're gonna let Pettis through, they're gonna battle it out, cause problems. Oh my god, what is that from Alonso? Okay, parody. We're back to P7, that's fine. I wanna recharge the battery anyway. And then help help me get closer to the front three, man. That's what we need. Oh no, three wide. Or almost three. Oh, three wide. At the moment, the car behind is lapping faster than us by around a second Ooh. a lap. They're not playing nice up here. Let me try and capitalize on this to get signs. Maybe even Alonso here. Okay. We did it. Let's run away. 3.5 seconds? That's a lot. I don't mind if I lose out of a position to one. I could do with the DRS here. Oh no, it's three wide. Guys, 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 relax. Calma, calma. Jesus Christ, these guys have a death wish. Go. Oh my god, 5.6 seconds ahead now. We need a massive undercut to make something work. Oh boy. Someone's off. That's a McLaren off, I think. Oh, nearly me off too. Okay, so we're up on podium position with a mistake from Piastri. We might lose out to signs here potentially. Because he will have DRS down the main straight. Going on the inside. We'll let him through. Oh, no collisions. That's quite easy. AI is doing all the colliding amongst each other. I don't want any of this. Lost four positions. Down one straight. Trailing Russell. You know what? No big rush. No real rush here. Russell. Good job. Nice overtake. All right, let's chase down Alonso here. Going to use my ERS. Need that DRS down the straight. Oh, someone made a mistake. It's Perez off. Off at a Scotty. Well, my tires are gone. Or at least they feel like it. Pettis with a very huge mistake there. Oh, someone's going on my inside, brother. Bruder, bist du gut? Dein Gehirn ist komplett kaputt, Mother.
Oh my god. I mean, it makes for an exciting race for sure. This has become a very tasty race. Oh dear. I don't want any of it. Caution, caution. Okay, there's a retirement from Norris. Norris retirement. This race gets ever so more tasty here. Okay, clear. Nearly smashed into the rear of Russell. Oh, sorry, Norris. Alonso makes the pass signs. Okay, signs is using ERS. I should too. Oh, I nearly lost it. Okay, be careful. We think you're gonna start losing some tire grip anytime now. Okay, we're pitting. Oh, I've, I'm out of ERS. Hülkenberg following nicely in P6, though. Let's go Hülkenberg. I think I want to try to get ahead of these guys before I pit. Got Alonso. Boxer slap. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Why is he giving me an objective when he knows I'm pitting this lap? Not certain. Okay, pit in this lap and remember the speed limit. We'll be penalized if we exceed it. Keep that in mind as you approach. Alright, signs as party. Is he pitting? I do not know. Is Leclerc pitting? I do not know. Is anyone pitting? I do not know. I'm the only one pitting. Okay, forget the targets for now. We've got to All right. The Interesting. Oh, there's another person pitting. It's Sunoda Ocon as well. Okay. Hard tires on for the rest of the race. Ah, oh, front left is having a nightmare. Still ahead of Ocon though. Alright, let's cook. We have to cook because our pit crew doesn't know how to cook. Our pit crew are idiots. Let's go, let's go. We have a strong car because Hülkenberg is able to maintain P5, P6. And I know because we've done very well in the last couple Grand Prix, the development has been working beautifully. Alright, first group of pit stop makers here. Or second group, because I was technically in the first group. There they are. Hamilton's in the pits. Pass for Stappen, but behind... Albon. And who can build? Okay. I lost positions. That's fine. We can dance. We can make up for it. Hey, fastest lap. Let's go. We are cooking. We're past Russell. We can back on the podium with Albon. Someone's on the inside. Albon cooking too. He wants a podium, man. Okay, so the team want me to overtake Hülkenberg, why don't you just give me team orders, mate? 
Just do team orders and we're done. Here we go then. We're rinsing these two guys in the same corner. Boom. We're oh, same baby, straight. Nice work. That's why I love working with you. Smashed it. Easy. Driver in front. Declare ahead and gap to the car in front. 9.7 seconds. Okay, they're on fresh hards. Their tires are two laps old. Your last lap time, 1 minute 20.6. How is he cooking that hard? He's up 10 seconds. And he's on fresh toss, uh, fresh hards? That's incredible. Alright, Nico. You need to follow. You need to follow. Oh, another yellow flag. Ah, oh, it's Hülkenberg who screwed it. Hülkenberg screwed it completely. Could have been a double podium for Haas. What's this guy doing? Again. The Haas flag flies with me now. Alright, let's bring it home. Ten laps to go. Is this the fastest lap? No, it's not. Perez has stolen it. But I'm getting a good gap behind me. No, 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 no! Just be careful. No! What is wrong with this car? No! I just flipped through and I saw the yellow gearbox. Oh, it's a fresh gearbox too! How can you do this to me, man? Ah! Bruh, I should be up in the podium, man, but it's a Ferrari 1-2 with Alonso P3. Verstappen, Stroll, Russell, Albon, Hamilton, Piastri, and Ocon in the points. Joe Perez, Gasly, Sergeant, Bottas, Sonoda, Ricardo, Hülkenberg. Hülkenberg, what are you doing, mate? You should have been up on the podium with me. Round out the finish of myself and Norris, failing to finish the race. Let's look at the standings then. P10 for me, but Lance Stroll is catching 7 points behind me and no points earned. But Williams do score some points, bringing them up to 25 points, but still miles away behind us. Man, this car. I, 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 I'm I, done. I think I want to move to Mercedes. I seriously want to move to Mercedes. Like, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that we were running in such a good position and then the gearbox just gives out. It's a fresh engine too. It's a completely fresh, everything new gearbox included new and you do what you break it i just don't understand what's happening here i really do not well yeah that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that like button subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next more fun content is coming up so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out thank you guys so much for your support take care and i'll see you guys in the new video tomorrow